What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to tutorial 10 and today's topic will be how to download files from S3 bucket. So in the last tutorial we have seen how to upload the file in S3 bucket and definitely after upload uh, uh, we, we want to or we'd like to know how to download the files but but uh, I just did a mistake in the last tutorial we have seen how to how to delete the files so we have seen how to upload how to delete and now we'll see how to download okay so now we'll be guys able to understand why I'm just uh, segregating every this thing uh, everything in, in separate tutorial because every uh, use case is actually kind of interlinked or interconnected okay so you guys will be able to understand in this tutorial okay so again prerequisite you ha have to install Boto 3 and AWS uh, CLI I would not uh, waste much time in this thing after that definitely you have to configure your identity and access management user and all the steps are clearly defined in the tutorial one if you are not familiar with this configuration of this sort of thing please go ahead and watch for tutorial one from the same playlist and the next tutorial will be AD configuring AWS CLI so this is also one of the very important steps and actually the these three steps like installation of the prerequisite then configuration of the A uh, IM user and configuration of AWS CLI like you have to complete all these three steps or else your code is not going to work okay and same thing again I'll be going to repeat that all these things are clearly covered and I have explained this thing kind of uh, kind of it's a hands-on driven tutorial you can easily go ahead and watch this thing and you will be able to understand from tutorial one from the same playlist so the main objective of the tutorial is how to download files from s3 bucket using boto3 and python okay so let me just uh, run through my jupyter notebook okay so probably this is Jupyter. yes so let me just maximize this thing okay so First thing, definitely we have to import Boto3, okay, let me create few cells, okay, then S3, usual thing, S3 resource equals to Boto3 dot client and we'll use S3, okay, like this and after that S3 underscore resource dot, I think download file, okay, now same thing. If you do like this sorry it will give you the all these things so these things are mandatory so let me just put this thing here okay so bucket in our case we'll see what is the bucket and we'll give one file name uh, sorry key name means the key means the file which is actually residing inside your s3 and file name which will be the target file name so we can uh, give anything like we'll give this download one dot png okay i know in my s3 bucket there are only png files so let me open this thing so what we'll do we'll just try to uh, get this file upload test.png we'll we try to download we'll try to download this one upload test.png okay so our bucket name is total technology we all know and our file name is upload test.png so let me see here I have any file with upload test.png see I have no file here with upload test.png only upload.png is here so one more file will be created here with upload upload test.png okay so let me run this thing now let's see what is going to happen now uh, no one more file will be created with download1.png let me check uh, download1.png no file is there only one folder is there but that is blank okay so let's see how it goes okay let's run this thing now okay so it's completed see uh, something will be created with download one dot png download one dot png yes download one dot png i mean if you see seconds ago few seconds ago if i open this thing yes the same thing so how to delete policy this is one of the thumbnail thumbnail okay so just to re-verify this thing from this thing whether the actual file is getting downloaded okay so let me okay it's actually it will be denied because uh, we have set the policy in such a way so what i'll do i'll just try to uh, download the file maybe after that we can see uh, yes how to delete policy so everything is fine now so but our uh, intention is not like this we would like to uh, like let me just open this thing it is kind of hard coding everything this is hard coded this is hard coding and we know which file i want to download but this is not the ideal case so I, like the same thing is uh, the same thing will be applicable for this tutorial that we want to do something uh, 
for multiple uh, files so for that now i'll uh, start the tutorial okay how to download or maybe I'll, I'll show you guys that how to do it it's very simple maybe all of you are familiar with this thing because uh, since uh, tutorial second i'm doing the same approach how to download the or how to upload or how to delete for single instance or single object and after do some sort of dynamic thing okay so single file and then we'll start how to download multiple file okay so for this thing we need import os import uh yes import os only required okay so after importing os so let me just do this thing so we will get some current working directory os dot get current working directory okay and i would like to uh, upload uh, download everything inside this download folder everything is empty so what i'll do after uh, uh, let's uh, run this thing okay now let's see what is getting printed okay so this is getting printed this so i i want my current working directory means the upload directory should be this mm, this then this then this then something called download because i want to uh, put everything here download and just because this is a directory this should be like this okay okay now the actual download part okay so for doing the download we have to understand what are the uh, what are the files are they are actually inside okay so that part i'll be going to uh, cover now sorry uh, here here okay so for that thing um, let's create a variable called files and s3 resource dot list and it should be list objects and you have to put something called bucket okay and we'll put total it's like from the last tutorial right total technology and if you run this thing and after that if you put this thing you'll get a dictionary see uh, i think i need to make this thing a bit smaller okay and just have to make this thing like this see i got a dictionary return and one of the dictionary key is contents and inside the contents uh, all the file uh, like related information are there so i this is a list actually content is a key and the value of the content is actually a list a list uh, in the list every element is a dictionary okay so what will happen now if i write like this contents okay and let me run this thing and see see it is returning this thing so if i uh, if if i see if i just put this length i have already covered all this thing in the last tutorial so probably there will be one two three four four five file see the length will be five and why five we have five file here five files here okay so let me just run this thing so i'll get five okay now i have to iterate through this thing okay so for file in files okay and okay let me just show you guys one more thing files has a, a files is actually a dictionary and every dictionary uh, sorry files is a files is a list and every list object is actually a single uh, dictionary object uh, every element of a list is a single dictionary object and out of that one uh, uh, key is key name is key and inside the key you will get the from the key you will get the file name okay so like this so let me just uh, remove this part i don't need this thing anymore okay so files in files then after that what we'll do uh, we'll call the same thing s3 uh, resource dot uh, download okay download file and after that the same thing the thing which we have written here okay so let me just copy paste this thing from here okay and like this okay so our bucket will be this but our uh, upload.png will need every for every file we want to run this thing so what will happen so file is a uh, list files is a list and the first element of the file will be only file and inside that there is a, a key name called key and key means actually the name of the file okay as we know and the same thing i would like to download everything uh, here actually so it should be cwd then plus and then we'll just put this thing okay so in this path the files would be saved actually after downloading 
okay so let me just put this thing so everything is done bucket is written key is written key means the file name which is actually placed inside uh, aws s3 bucket and this is the target name okay like this okay uh okay so i just want to do one more thing uh, just to make this I, i'm actually downloading the file so it should be download underscore so every file will be uh, prefixed with download underscore after this thing so current directory download underscore the file name dot actual file name dot png so what will be happen now so suppose this upload 2 dot png will be named as download underscore upload 2 dot png okay like this just to make sure that i am actually downloading the file or something to understand whether these files are getting downloaded from s3 okay so let's run this thing before that uh, let me uh, open my this folder okay nothing is there so let me run this thing i hope i haven't done any mistake or typos so it is working completed nothing is here okay uh huh let me refresh this thing or maybe yeah see all download underscore download underscore download underscore every file is getting uploaded so this is the simple way of doing this thing but for example you are having 20,000 file inside s3 bucket or millions of file in multiple s3 buckets so for doing that thing you have to uh, like uh, add up some sort of multi-threading multi-processing approach so all this uh, advanced or intermediate level of tutorials i'll be going to cover in the next part so this is actually tutorial 10 and if you see guys we have covered quite a lot of uh, item like till now so let me just make it a bit minimize okay so you guys now understood that in this 10 tutorials we have now understand or maybe you guys can start immediately working or can get some sort of confidence that you are now familiar with all s3 concept and how to automate all those things using python okay so let me just uh, take a screenshot of whole thing okay okay and the same thing i'll do i'll put this thing here so normal thing will be this is going to help you guys to understand in the future whenever you are guys you guys are going to refer this thing for your future learning okay same thing okay done so maybe uh, yes this is done this looks nice okay so let me close this thing let me save this thing fine done okay so one more time I'll just going to explain this thing. This is normal. After that, we created this uh, resource object of type S3 or client object of type S3. And after that, we have seen how to run this method and how to get the method and what are the uh, arguments or uh, like uh, keywords argument. Basically, this call this known as a keyword argument. So, what are the keyword arguments you need to pass? And once this is done, we actually um, uh, followed our normal python approach for list you can do it using list comprehension but our objective is not to learn python here we are actually using the power of python to learn some sort of automation using but anyways if you are okay if you are confident you can definitely do it but i'm just uh, keeping this thing normal for all the audience all type all sort of audience and student and after that we generate uh, the path final or target path or target directory path where actually are going to upload and after that we created this list and list is going to contain all the uh, um, like all the objects and some sort of information and out of that information only we are interested for this uh, key actually this is going to return one li list and inside a list uh, every element is a dictionary and every element inside a dictionary has a key name uh, called key the name of the key is itself key and inside that what is uh, there the value of this uh, key uh, uh, key is uh, the name of the file so if you know the name of the file which is actually uh, the file which is actually residing inside your s3 bucket and we need one more argument keyword uh, keyword argument that is the target path and we kind of change the target part with download underscore uh, prefix and everything was fine so that's it guys i hope you guys are enjoying the series and i i just I tried to make every tutorial uh, like kind of use case specific and I try I was actually I'm actually trying to make this thing simple so that you guys can understand so that the video length should not uh, uh, go beyond 20 minutes or 15, 15 minutes at least so I believe this is the right approach but still if you guys are finding difficulties or you want me to uh, cover this tutorial in a different way you can also feel free to write me I always try to improve our qualities and last but not least guys don't just follow my tutorial you have to do some sort of practice my tutorial only help you to develop some sort of intuition or maybe it will uh, give you some sort of 
uh, uh, or it will give you some sort of foundation so that you will develop your interest to learn this sort of things but until ultimately you have to do the practice you have to do the job and, and if you're not doing practice you will uh, definitely lose some sort of uh, interest with the time and you will start uh, stop forgetting everything so my humble and uh, personal recommendation is do some sort of practice okay and in between if you guys are having any difficulties to understand or if you want me to cover some other use cases please feel free to write me i'll try to cover all those things okay lot of talking so this is the right time to end this video we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have